CTE um, means career technical education. And what that really means um, without all the technical terms and all the technical parts of it, it means there are kids that are going to want to go right into industry who are going to want to start their own business, who want to do something other than the traditional track through high school, from high school to college, to a job. There are some kids that don't follow that track. So CTE is there as another way to fulfill or reach those non-traditional <coughs> type kids. So, um, but CTE also does lead to higher education as well, but it's not the only track. So that's what's so interesting about this, uh, uh, the CTE, uh, and I don't wanna say track, because tracking is, is not a good term, but it's the pathway. So the CTE pathway. Now, um, when I think about it as the principal and director of the school, I think about the term uh, uh, workforce or the concept of workforce development. And, um, and I'm a musician. I was a band director and orchestra teacher for many years before I became a principal. So, um, you know, in music, what I always was taught was that there are two th three things you can do in music. You can teach, you can be a performer, or you can compose. And that was it. So if you didn't get a job doing one of those three, then music became something that you just kind of fell back on. And a lot of people, even today, still think that. A lot of administrators think that as well. But Workforce development was telling me what what was what was pushing me more than anything else was that as I watched the 2000 students walking around on our campus, everybody had on headphones, everybody. So I'm thinking, OK, what are they listening to? Why, why do they have these headphones? Are they listening to a lecture? Are they listening to, you know, a news station? What are they listening to? They're listening to music. They're listening to music. But then I look at our traditional band and orchestra program, and there's not 2,000 students in the band. There's not 2,000 students in the orchestra or the choir, but everybody's listening to music. So I'm saying, okay, we've got to really capture that because there's an interest and somehow we as traditionalists are missing this whole point or missing the, 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 the non-traditional students. So we're misaligning. So that's how, uh, how I, I, I um, came up with this, uh, this audio engineering program because there was an opportunity there because kids are at home making music. They're using garage, but they're doing all kinds of things and they're doing it on their own. So we're educators. So the whole point was to begin to teach them that because I didn't want students to learn music and learn music technology despite the school, but I wanted them to learn because of the school. 